Hey amigas, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Happy New Year's, amigas! So this is the first video of 2024. And as you can see, New Year, New Me, I got a haircut, girl. I don't know if you guys watched the video that I uploaded on my TikTok, but no se que me entró las ganas to just chop it all off. So here we are rocking the short hair. As you guys can read the title of today's video, I am getting ready and packing up all the things that I need for my upcoming revision surgery. So I'm like lining up everything. The doctor basically gave me like a little checklist of the stuff that I need and I am missing a few items. So we're going to go run and grab that and of course i'm gonna take y'all with me this list is not as big as a tummy tuck one because i felt like there was just so many things that i needed in preparation for that this one's a little bit more easier it's just gonna be basically lipo and just like a little cut on the side so it's not gonna be as crazy as my first surgery but anyway y'all ready let's get to it Here's the OOTD of the day. Some little brown joggers along con mi amiga sweatshirt. You guys, if you have not got one of these, I don't know what you're doing. These are my sweatshirts from my merch site. So it is Shop Amiga. You get this cute little sweatshirt. It does come in multiple colors. Go check it out. You know when you're like waiting for your hubby because they always say that they're ready, let's go. And I'm like, you come out and you're like, okay, vamonos. And they're like, wait, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. He heard me talking shit. Oh, it's a beautiful sunny day today. Look, the sky is nice and clear. We're going to the Mamalona. We are going to head out. Thank you, baby. I got also a package right now in the mail. I'm going to open it up. Yeah, let's get... What did I get? What is this from? Unboxing. I forgot to cancel this. So I accidentally got this from the TikTok shop. You know that Alex Earl light that everybody has been ranting about? So I actually accidentally got it. And I was supposed to cancel it because I actually do have plenty of these lights. And now it's here. We gotta buckle up. Se me olvido. We gotta make sure we're nice and safe. Si quemaca. Si quemaca. <laughs> Dude, he's growing out his little hair in the back. He's so, it's gonna look good on him because I told him he has like nice and curly hair. Like it's like nice and wavy, so it's gonna look really, really good. You're, you're such a little funny guy. <laughs> little why am I little? The famous Dollar Tree, donde siempre vengo. Like this is where I be at. This is where I spend all my money. A ver, a ver, let me see what they have. Oh, look right here. This is where I got my compression socks because I do need some. Look, they have a mattress cover. You think that one? Oh, they're not sheets. It's just like a cover. So just at the bottom, but then get sheets to put on top, huh? Just yeah. Just have double. Okay, so then I'll take this, and then we'll go to the 99 to get the actual sheets. Dude, he said put a shower curtain underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Every time give him a all you're going to hear is... <laughs> I'm just going to get one. You don't want one? Okay. The thumbnail or what? <laughs> yeah, this is a thumbnail. Come with me to the dollar store to get Coke Zero. So, when we were in line, I noticed that the cover of the mattress was a size full. And we do have a king size bed. So, we had to leave that there, but I still got my coquita. That first little sip always hits, but it has to be canned, okay? It hella, cannot be in a bottle. Hella gassy, where you gotta go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost. If you ain't at the 99 cent store, where the f you at? Oh, they already have all the Valentine's Day stuff. That was fast. Okay, we're gonna have probably right here. Oh no, you know what? It's on the other aisle. I remember. Oh look, they have Ioni lashes here too. I thought it was at, just at the Dollar Tree. If you guys want to try some like really in inexpensive but good lashes, try this brand. It's bomb. Okay, next I'll aisle. Okay, let me go to the next aisle. Oh, look how cute some leg warmers. I've been wanting some of these. Oh, look, they have horse plancha. They have everything here. What the hell? Ooh, look right here. Ooh, ooh. Mattress cover. Um, vinyl mat. Look, vinyl shit right there. Nothing mm. goes. Pero it's full size. Waterproof. Eh? Ah, that's good. I don't, I don't see anything. Full, 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 full. full. full, full, full. Last time I seen, they had a bunch of sheets or embedding stuff for like king. I think we'll do that to take just, a shower yeah, curtain. Yeah, no, I am just kidding. Yeah, keep popping out. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> it's a sign, take the shower curtain. Oh, you know what? We can go to Didi's. Dee 
Didi's has some inexpensive. It's because, dude, what's the point of getting like an expensive one? Si lo vamos a tirar anyway, it's gonna get all like disgusting. The tiniest little area rug. We at Didi's now. This is the store that I really freaking love to shop at too for like home decor. They, oh my god, how pretty look on. This is the color that I want to do, uh, nice. Ellie's room, uh, her nice. vanity. This is the color. So maybe later on I can come back and get some of these pillows for her bed. Okay. That's so freaking cute. Oh my God, look at this fluffy one. Every time I see pink, dude, it reminds me of Ellie and I want to grab everything for her. Concentrate, concentrate. What did I come here to do? Sheets, because I look everywhere. My eyes are like this. Right Probably right here, look. Um, no, these are comforters. No, we don't have a king. We have a regular king. We had a cow king, but oh, it was more um, narrow. Look, it don't even matter what color it is. This one got like a, just, just a plain. <laughs> he doesn't like this one. But I'm gonna toss it out anyway. No, what about this one? Look. Whatever you want. Okay. Whatever I want. <laughs> and he's like, no, I don't want that one. Okay, look. I'll give you option. Option A is a cute floral one, pink one, or a black floral oh, one. This one, I gotta do this one, eh? Huh? Huh? This looks like vintage. Which one should we go with? Option one or two? Do you go with this one or what? Yeah, we're, we're fine with this. I'm gonna throw it out anyway. Okay. Throw it out. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. TIO, baby, TIO. I'm also on a hunt for some sweatpants that I can just like throw away too um, because I don't want to throw away any of my good ones that I have right now. So I think I'm gonna get some like baggier ones, just some really loose sweatpants. Oh, you know what? Some men's one would be good. But look like these, you know, six ninety nine. Yes, two of them, mira. Like, these are Roblox. Roblox is Road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said Roblox. <laughs> See the it. <laughs> no wonder it's $6.99. todo. <laughs> They're made out of tissue paper. <laughs> We're gonna go to the women's section and just see if we find something a little bit bigger. It's because look, I like to get the guys one because they make them a little bit looser. See, oh, yeah. there we go. Shit, right there, there we go. Mm -hmm. $5.99. There you go. Okay. Through. That's a steal. That's a steal. Oh, they passed the test. They the don't see through. Can't see through them. See the pink or should I do this brownish color? I've been into browns lately. I don't know if you notice, but I would really say do into... both. Both? Yeah. Okay, it's huh? gonna be like two, three days, huh? Yeah, so I'll see. Two, unless you want to wear the same one. Right? No, you're right. You're right. Oh, I don't know. Ask my nurse right here. <laughs> How often are you gonna be changing me, dude? You're funny. What? I'm all like, yeah, they're cute, and I'm not even looking at the size. They're not even <laughs> my size. More over there, Papa. So, Okay, we'll take this one. Oh, this one, that one's cute. Be kind. That one's really cute. I like that one. Take that one. This. Yes, yeah, more. Okay, vámonos. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna show you guys all the makeup because this is usually filled with makeup. And I always say if you guys wanted me to do like a full face of baby's makeup, but I do no eyeshadow. All this stuff, all the makeup. They only have lashes. And I remember last time I seen they had some from Paris Hilton and they're not even here no more. I told you, Didi's nunca falla. Now that we're done with that shopping, we gotta go to Costco and get my meds. I'm gonna go to Costco. Anna! Beep, 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 beep. Last stop, Costco. Make sure you stay with me, okay? Why? Not, they're not gonna let you in. <laughs> <laughs> I got the black card right here, executive. He's gonna be like, let me see your ID. Oh, she's with me. Look at mm -hmm. all the rugs. That's actually a really good deal. Yeah. I want one for the comedor, like underneath the, the big table. Nice that, I know, that's what I was looking at. One of these? Or something less white. Something like more like nude beige. -y. It's that's a little too fluffy for me. I want something, oh, like this looks like flat like that. This is the bonito. Yeah. Have you seen all the TikTok videos they have of the Costco couches? No. Supuestamente que están chingones. Like this, the ottoman right here, look. That's storage well, todo. Yeah. If it was in a different color, maybe. Pero este, míralo, míralo. Uh, just pretend like you're watching a movie. Comfy? Okay, amigas, we are now back at home. So now I can do the full haul. I'm going to start off with the things that I just got. So, number one, we got... A message we got the extra sheets for the bed we also got two sweatpants that i am not gonna be worried if they get stained or ruined i'm kind of like i don't want to ruin these these are actually really cute y luego we do have 
Bajas because we are gonna need some. I do have two of them. These are both from Angel's Boutique y Joyeria, which is the same spot that I got my previous Baja, the one that I used for my tummy tuck. So I had a lot of good like feedback on it. A lot of people wanted to know exactly where I got it from. So again, I'll link them down below. You guys already know these are good quality Colombiana Faja. So highly, highly, highly recommend. I did get two different sizes. So she told me that to start off, I'm gonna start off with this one because it is a size large i am going to be swollen so we want to make sure that everything fits well and this is a full body one okay so let me show you girl like the quality on this is insane it feels so thick so here's what the faja looks like from the top it does have sleeves remember i am going to get my arm lipo um with j plasma so that means it's going to be tightened up as well so it's literally a faja from all the way up from my neckline it does have some space for the girls then and we do have this area right here where we clamp on and I like that it does have two different measurements for my stomach even though I'm not going to be getting nothing on my stomach but it has two different sizing so I could always start with the larger size and then go down if I need to and then if I need a size down then of course there's my uh, my other faja and as we head to the lower part you're going to notice that it is in shorts it does have the stretchable spandex material at the thigh area so it's stretchable y luego también tiene the little material so it sticks on to your skin these are so handy when it comes to fajas just make sure it has this little material you guys can see it literally rubs on my hands that's so it won't like be slipping up and down and the one thing that i love about her fajas is that they have this zipper from the um the cola <laughs> the underneath area i mean i don't know what else to call it okay pero tiene un zipper. it has a zipper and it opens up literally all the way through so you don't have to even worry about going to the bathroom like this thing goes all the way wrapped around to the back so if you need to go you don't need to like undress yourself you can just unzip it do what you gotta do limpiate of course the limpias and zip it back up in the bumpy part it does have a thinner material so it stretches out so you can fit everything that you got working with back there all up in this space and it's just a really good quality well-made faja por eso les digo amigas if you guys need fajas hit them up y luego when the swelling starts going down i will need to size down from the other faja so this one is in a size medium exactly the same type of faja but it's in black so same thing as you can see all the way around girl i don't know if you guys can see this little waist i don't know how i'm gonna fit in here y luego atrás same thing on the pompy part. Oh, look, it has a picture here. Para que miren, the little demonstration is supposed to like snatch you right up and lift up your booty. Along with that, we do need some compression socks. Now these, I already told you I got them from the Dollar Tree. I didn't mean to get them from the Dollar Tree. I was actually gonna order them from Amazon. Pero when I went to the Dollar Tree last time, I saw them and I was like, hmm. I did get two pairs just so I can alternate and I don't wear the same pair the whole time. I got some training pads. These are little pee pads for pets. And I got these because instead of getting the hospital liner ones, which are way more expensive, these came in a four pack for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So girl, might as well. They are size XL, so they are gonna open up. Heavy duty and super absorbent, supuestamente. Super easy to clean up. Along with that, I had to get some gauze, um, I think, for my incision site. So they did tell me that my incision is going to be probably about an inch big. It's not going to be any bigger than that. And um, so they did tell me that I need some gauze just in case, like, any leakage comes out from that site or my lipo areas. Because they remember, they are going to make little tiny holes that they're going to insert them. La esa cosa, la máquina, I don't know what's it called, but just in case there's any kind of leakage, gauze pads or rolled gauze or gauze. Of course, some hand sanitizer porque uno nunca sabe. You don't know where you're going, where you're going to be around. And after surgery, I need to be sure that I'm like well sanitized all over. And um, these are antibacterial. I like to get the yellow ones because they smell like lemon. Any other uh, type of hand sanitizer no me gustan because especially the green ones, dude. Have you ever smelled a hand sanitizer that smells like licor, like alcohol? Like, oh girl, it grosses me the hell out. So I just need to make sure there's like a nice fresh scent. Also on the list, an antibiotic oil so anything that's going to kill off germs bacteria and this is for a first aid and help prevent infections in minor cuts scrapes or burns so it's going to be perfect also the dollar tree y luego there is another item that i was looking for 
were everywhere for some reason they were like all sold out i went to target dude the whole shelves were right top i think everybody's like over oh, there getting surgery or whatever because <laughs> dude there was no antibacterial soap it's called hebaglans he be clear. I don't know. I'll go see that. And dude, no matter how much I tried, no matter how many stores I went to, I could not find it. So I googled it and I was like, okay, what's an alternative to that brand? And so this one did come up, and I realized that it was at the Dollar Tree. I'm like, how convenient, dude. It's the Dial Advanced Clean Antibacterial. It's a gold soap. I got it. I mean, there's different colors, but I got the gold one. But this should do the job. I mean, I'll just wash my ass like two, three times just to be extra extra clean and of course my meds so in here dude i had plenty of medicine actually i kept going to costco like several times because they kept telling me i had a prescription i had a prescription i was like damn what the prescriptions that they give me i have one for what is this for pain this one's for nausea then i got an antibiotic and i don't know what the hell this is and that's basically it on me guys i'm literally ready for my surgery i got everything i need i was going down the checklist and i'm like okay i got this i got that i got that i did this like everything is done the only thing is now just leave it up to tomorrow and i'm gonna start getting ready washing my hair out and oh i also gotta remove all my nail polish so i have no press on nails i have no acrylics i took everything out i had to remove my piercings i have to make sure that my toes have because i think i have gels on my toes so i have to remove everything there's no makeup i have to like wash my hair out with the soap as well no no lotions nothing and i came to the final decision that i am gonna do it awake i do not want to go to sleep like i've mentioned like that was the point of finding this doctor i wanted someone that could do it awake so i just don't want to go under general anesthesia i'm gonna tough it out and i mean i don't know how long the surgery is gonna wait but i guess i'll figure something out or some way to distract myself the only thing is that i already know i'm like such a perfectionist that i have this feeling that if i'm awake and then like she's doing the surgery i'm like wait let me go look real quick no dude imagine like hold on hold on before you go on any further can you just like hit up this little spot oh, you missed a little spot right here dude <laughs> like knowing me i will be that girl and i hate to admit it but i just am like i ask a bunch of questions i want everything to go my way ay alma por qué eres así por qué no puedes ser niña normal it's because dude okay let's be honest here with my history with what had happened before my previous surgery and like oh uh, i I'm traumatized and i'm just like i just need to make sure that this is for sure my last surgery and i do not ever need to come back ever again and get fixed i mean i did my research i did as much as i could and i only booked until i felt comfortable so just knowing that i feel as comfortable to book this surgeon for my surgery pues like i feel like okay i'm good to go i feel like she is gonna deliver the vision that i'm looking for and she's gonna be able to fix me up and make it look nice and natural porque don't get it wrong on me guys just because i'm doing cosmetic surgery does not mean that i want to go for that fake look that's just not me that's not what i want to look like i want to be naturally sculpted that's the goal but anyway amigas we have come down to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog and if you did let me know down in the comment section below because i need to know girl are you guys going to be watching the rest of this journey because you already know i'm gonna be vlogging todo i mean maybe not the surgery itself pero todo lo demás if you have not yet be sure to check me out on all my social medias you guys can find me at alma rivera beauty on instagram facebook and tiktok do not leave my channel before subscribing, girl. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, and get your crew neck, girl. Shop amiga. Woo-woo. Okay, for real this time. Okay, boys. Bye.